اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to look into how to use multigroup analysis in seminar. A quick recap of the steps. First obviously we will have to call in the library. The second step we have to load our data into an object and in this case the object is named data s. Now it's always a good idea just to look at the head that is your data that it is loading properly. Yes it is loading properly. All good. The next step you have to create your measurement model in this case i've got three constructs collaborative culture organizational commitment organizational performance now these are multi items and abbreviated as cc 1 to 6 oc 1 to 8 and op 1 to 5 now cc 1 cc 2 cc 3 cc 4 cc 5 and cc 6 cc 6 same is the case with oc and op now once you have done or identified your constructs in the study the next step is to create a structured model that is build relationship just as we do in smart pls draw arrows look at this drawing arrow from collaborative culture to organizational commitment and from organizational commitment to organizational performance here it is just look at the syntax make sure the brackets the parentheses are properly added if you do not add the parentheses properly this will give you errors So one opens, and then for each path you have got a parenthesis, another one, and then linked to the linked to the endogenous variable. So this is your exogenous variable in the relationship, and this is your endogenous variable. Now, once you build your relationships, the next thing is to estimate your model. Again, you need an object to hold the estimation, and this is the function. this is the data this is the measurement model this is the structural model if you've got any missing values mean replacement is the procedure that will be utilized missing values are denoted by minus 9 9 now once this is done the next step is you can plot them as well obviously if you just run this one here run it and the observations are valid now you can see your plot that the relationships are fine okay here is your plot and the next step i have two groups and the gender is my grouping variable so gender so you write sum parenthesis data s is the object that is holding the data the dollar sign and the grouping variable gender is equal to 1 1 is for male and 2 is for female so if we just run these two for now run it and you've got 289 male respondents and 52 female respondents now to run multi group analysis in seminar you need an object again i've created this object data s underscore mga look at this this is the function estimate underscore pls underscore mga for multi group analysis now for which model you want to run it for simple underscore model where is this simple underscore model the model that you estimated Now one of the limitation for now with seminar is that you can only compare two groups. So I'm going to compare one here male with the other group or you can have two with one. So in this case it doesn't matter I've just got two groups. So data dollar sign data s that is the object dollar sign gender is equal to see the two equal to signs and then one Now the group one is compared with the other group. Now let's run this. It may say take some time because this is bootstrapping procedure. Now the model did run fine. Let's have our output. Let's have the beta for group one and then beta group for group two and the p values. So data under data s underscore mga. Obviously this is the object. The dollar sign. and then the beta for group 1 and then the beta for group 2 and then obviously the p value whether or not there are significant differences in the relationship between the two groups or not so let's run it look at this this is or these are the beta values now what is this this is the beta for group 1 so for male the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance the beta value is 0.306 Again for group 
collaborative culture and organizational commitment the beta value is 0.612 and organizational commitment to organizational performance the beta value is 0 0.400 this is for male for female that is group 2 because here we mentioned group 1 so group 1 is being compared with the other group so this is 228 0 0.650 and 0 0.660 for each of these relationships are there significant differences in collaborative culture or we should say are there significant differences in the relationship of collaborative culture with organizational performance between male and female respondents no no differences for the second relationship is the relationship different no the relationship is not different for the third no so the impact of collaborative culture on organizational performance is the same in male and female respondents and same is the case with all the other relationships as well these relationships are perceived to be same in both male and female respondents now you can have other groups multiple groups as well here so instead of two groups now i've got three groups the process remains the same it's just that now i'm comparing rank one that is junior rank with the other two ranks combined now in order to compare each one of them you have to separate your data and perform separate analysis now this is one of the limitations for now with regards to multi-group analysis in seminar thank you very much